Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at call me Princess Nay. You can follow my business page before we launch at the Indigo Woman on Instagram. And ladies, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so I can reach more feminine women across the globe. Okay ladies, so now let's begin. I wanted to discuss today the importance of having high standards as a feminine woman for yourself, um, dating, and also your feminine uh, journey as a whole. As a feminine woman like myself, who has always had high standards for myself and the things I felt I deserve, I've always kept things like that on display. Personally, I always felt that I deserved to live in luxury, receive nice things, live a life where I am not stressing about bills, and eventually in a marriage of pure happiness. I want that... Um, kind of happiness for my subscribers as well which is why i feel you should be subscribed to my channel for weekly tips on to level up your lifestyle during your journey now for my first tip i want to suggest to women who want to develop high standards about themselves and their lifestyle will be to not spread yourself thin i know this may seem like common sense but to some who only focus is to leech off of a man let alone become a sugar baby it is not as most of you know, I do not promote any of that kind of logic here on my channel because I'm more about traditionalism, being in the marriage, being a wife and things and such like that, and being my own definition of what I should be as a feminine woman. For myself, I have never felt the need to spread myself thin just because someone did something nice for me or brought me something luxurious um, just to be with a man. I feel like I have so much more... Um, integrity um, and character as a woman so I just don't feel the need to sleep with a man so um, quickly or even at all or um, I just don't feel to spread myself thin doing more for a man than he's doing for me you never want to put yourself in a position to be brought and when you do um, not put yourself in those kind of situations your standards will remain extremely high and everyone around you will give you a different level of respect number two it's best to not become easily impressed with low value behavior or attention from men. Having high standards keep you from accepting the bare minimum from men when dating, which is also um, words with no actions. I personally believe to be a high value woman and not allowing anyone to waste your time is one of the greatest things you can do. I am more than aware we have all dated a man with great potential or gave us false dreams of what we may have thought was a man of our dreams. Sadly, a lot of us um, have come across men who were taught to be great liars when it comes to women just to get more out of them than they are willing to give and sell them those dreams that they knew would never happen. Um, I think you should always do things with grace, which includes expressing how you feel and why you have to walk away from a, situ a situationship or a relationship that doesn't feel fitted for your future. Number three, you will learn how to gain clarity into what you want to achieve. I notice when most women don't want to blend in and accept anything for living standards, um, love, um, avoiding helpful um thinking traps or anything like that um, to prevent you being in any form of sadness or depression, um, things such like that will help you from thinking that you have to accept certain type of behaviors or lifestyles that are just simply beneath you as a feminine woman. Um, ladies, we have to remember we all have different seasons when we want to achieve certain things um, and those blessings um, is good to remain consistent in because we don't know exactly when God will bless us with certain things, but it's good to remain consistent because if we had an expiration date of when we will achieve certain things, we may not be as good of a person because we know it's coming. So I just feel that it's good to remain humble, but consistent in your journey to know that things will happen regardless of what people say in society or on certain timelines. Number four. If you stop allowing others to walk over you, I think it's great that many of us want to always seem helpful and there for others when they need it. But unfortunately, a lot of people will take that for granted, which is why you have to learn how to say no when something takes away from your personal goals to handle important things in your life. When you don't do this, it will be a clear indication that you that you 
struggle with low self-esteem and people will see that and as easily way to prey on you for their personal gain. So ladies, always be stern about who you are and what you're going to accept um, when it comes to your personal lifestyle. Number five, surround yourself around more empowering men, uh, women I'm sorry, who can give you helpful tips that will lead you in the direction of where your high standards will be appreciative. If you have friends who expect everything low value, which includes love that is considered low value from a man, unfortunately, you probably will become the next friend who will accept that type of low value behavior as well. And ladies, if this is making sense, drop below why you have high standards and what you feel you deserve and things you want out of life. However, these type of women that I suggest you be around um, will be living to their uh, greatest level of having high standards and certain lifestyles that I want for you as well. The sole purpose outside of making friends will be to use them for inspiration to keep your personal standards high and overall healthy um, well-being when it comes to your mental state. Number six, Become stern on your decision making for the new year, ladies. I want you to limit unnecessary shopping. Like I'm, that's one of my goals. Um, I'm gonna unlimit unnecessary shopping. So if something's unnecessary in your life and is keeping you back from reaching a big goal, it's just best to um, eliminate it. Um, I personally know it will be hard for me um, a little bit to. Um, you know, eliminate unnecessary shopping, but there's just things in life that I have to hold myself accountable for that I don't have yet and where I would like to be in life. So in certain areas, it makes it a little easier um, when I have patience and I know I'm doing something right that's beneficial for me versus waiting around for them to just happen one day. Being more stern about your decision making makes life um, a lot easier when it comes to everyone around you to know that what you expect at all times um, so they don't come at you asking for anything crazy or anything that's seen as low value. Last but not least, ladies, please start treating yourself like you are the prize versus waiting around for a man to make you feel this way. It's perfectly okay to wear luxury or high quality items, always dress up when you're out, going to upscale restaurants for dinner, let alone suggesting them um, when you're out with friends, going on trips to places like the Aspens or somewhere that's, you know, very exotic or out the country, um, flying first class, living in luxury apartments or buying a house and stuff like that, ladies. I think when you set the bar for what you really deserve, that is when you'll attract the kind of friends and love life you definitely deserve. I know a lot of women who do go out on dates with men and have told them that um, the men have mentioned that they are expensive due to the bag that they're carrying and stuff like that. Or they go out with their friends and they, their friends tell them that they're high sedity or bougie. But, you know, honestly, those are type of people that you really want to stay away from. Mainly if you enjoy pampering yourself weekly um, or you just want to go to better restaurants, you want to be in, living in better areas and things like that. Um, people with those kind of energies are people you should stay away from because they make you feel like you should fit into this like bubble when you were born to actually stand out with an amazing lifestyle. But overall, ladies, one of the best things you can have as a feminine woman is high standards. I truly believe when you're deep in your femininity, know who you are and what you truly feel you deserve. Your standards have to be extremely high to never normalize living in a struggle or having struggle love. But that is all for today, ladies. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at call me princess nay. Um, don't forget to follow my business page for when we launch our um, luxurious clothing line soon at the Indigo Woman. Remain classy and beautiful. Mwah.